Okay, in Eastern Algeria. Death of an Algerian girl, 10 years old, in a faith healing ceremony sparks outcry. A 10-year-old girl who was abused during a rukia, or faith healing, in her family's home, died from the blows and burns to which she was subjected. It is currently unknown why the girl was subjected to the rukia, um, which is a practice often performed with the intention of driving out demons, providing protection from the evil eye, as well as treating physical illnesses. A 28-year-old man, allegedly responsible for the faith healing session, has been arrested in connection with her death. This is Islamic faith healing, right? Yes. I mean, people are like, of course, I mean, it's Algeria, but you never know. There's Christian communities there, too. Um, okay, so is this Islamic or is this not Islamic? Technically, you could yes. argue. Is, it is? No, no. Like well, I mean, say, I'm saying. Oh, wait, is it, no, no. I, I mean, but I mean, is like, obviously, it's Muslims doing it. But I'm saying, is, can, it, can we blame Islam for it or not? Like, is this? Man, you know, there's, I mean, technically there's yes and no. Like some people might say like, well, my, this seems like witchcraft, which is illegal in Islam. But it's also the, the whole concept of evil eye and exorcism and all that stuff is in Islamic hadith. So technically you could point to those and be like, well, this is not magic. This is just using the uh, help, getting God's help with something. Um and but again it's not in the quran it's in the hadith and i don't know if it's in i'm not sure if it's an authentic hadith or it's in disputed hadith so but at the end of the day even if it's not direct there's indirect way again that you could blame islam for it for spreading superstition and nonsense for people to believe in such a things to carry out actions like this but anyway susanna you want to say something so my understanding Again, you'd be more knowledgeable than me, is that faith healing is permitted in Islam because it's performed using recitation of the Quran. Right. But not what I mean, these people seem to when done more than that. Like how did she die? Like burning There's using... not enough information about that in English yet for me to be able to give yeah, I mean... more details. She was tortured to death. She she died from blows and burns to her body. Like yeah, I mean, if this was only recitation of the Quran for faith healing, I would be like, oh yeah, this is Islamic nonsense. They, there's definitely, there's, this is definitely Islamic doctrine. But she's tortured to death. There's, I don't think there's anything in Islam that says like, oh yeah, go ahead and torture a little girl to, to, you know, to, to get the demons out of them. But again, I'm not. I'm just trying to be honest here. I'm saying even if there is no doc. Like we have to make sure that there's sometimes Islam could be directly blamed for something, and there's sometimes Islam or other religions could be indirectly blamed for something, right? And I don't think you could find any examples in the Hadith that would allow torturing. I mean, I'm pretty sure, almost like right now, uh, as much as I can be, that there is no Islamic Hadith that allows you to torture a ten-year-old girl because you think they're being possessed by demons, right? So this is not Islamic doctrine. But again, in the same way that I, I know people who hear me often will get bored by this because I say this often. <laughs> in the same way that there's nothing in the Bible that allows priests to molest children, there's no Christian doctrine for it. But we do blame Christianity indirectly because Christianity provides the authority and the environment for these crimes to happen more often. Uh, and, it cr cr and it provides uh, both legal uh, uh, protection in indirectly and also directly provides um, support for you to get rid of any guilt that you might feel by thinking like all your sins are forgiven so indirectly christianity is responsible for a higher uh, child molestation by priests even though there's nothing in the christian doctrine that promotes that so in the same way um, we do not blame Islam for directly allowing this. This is probably, I mean, this is definitely a sin in Islam, and people who did this, will, according to Islam doctrine, will probably go to hell to pay for their crimes for killing this girl. Um, so we're just trying to be fair. But again, indirectly, Islam is definitely to be blamed for this, for spreading and ideas and superstition that make these things possible. Right? Yeah, I've seen videos of. And I mean, I don't know how common um, this type of ritual is, but I've seen videos of people using fire in Rukia with children. 
before where they, they, I think it was, they were waving this fire underneath the feet of this kid to like burn out the gin or something. Um, so that's my suspicion in terms of how some of these injuries occurred. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. But it's very important to be careful with your uh, um, anti-Islam accusations, you know, yeah. uh, because, because I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I know you don't do that, but to people I'm saying that because then a knowledgeable Muslim fundamentalist will completely destroy <laughs> you and be like, Oh really? You think this is Islam? Show me the Hadith that allows this. And then you're going to look like an idiot. Right? So, just make sure you know what you're talking about if you want to um, accuse Islam of something. Again, this is not a defense of Islam because even if they do not uh, allow this in Islam, uh, they do. Islam does allow a lot of horrific, barbaric, violent shit. Uh, it, this is just not one of them. Right? I mean, the the culture and the mentality that Islam creates is basically responsible for this. So, yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. But yeah, it is. Well, I mean, yeah, but to, let's. It is responsible for this indirectly, but there is no Islamic doctrine that allows this directly. And in fact, Islamic doctrine will pro will consider this as, as sinful and punishable, uh, both in this world, punishable in this world, and punishable in the next world as well. So, just trying to be fair and honest about it, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, let me see what the top comment is. Top comment is saying, Clark is saying, prayers doing absolute equals doing absolutely nothing. Well, Clark, this is actually not the case here. It seems in this case it did a lot of harm. Uh, Vernon is saying, your God doesn't work. Open your eyes. Well, it seems like your God is, does work in, if your goal is to torture and kill little girls. Um... All right, let's news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 